Hello guys! Today I'm going to be unboxing my Nintendo Switch Animal Crossing Edition! In case you guys haven't seen my last video, basically I had to return my Switch Lite because of defect issues and I was also thinking whether or not I wanted to get a regular Switch just so that I can play with other people so I decided to treat myself and I got this one because I found a pretty good deal on eBay. I will say that I did pay a pretty penny for this but honestly Animal Crossing has made me so happy throughout this quarantine so it's okay <laughs> um i guess that's all i had to say i don't want to bore you guys with my talking so let's just get right into the unboxing so this is the box oh, so cute I got a tempered glass screen protector because I tend to drop my stuff a lot. <laughs> oh my god, this part is always so stressful. Wait, oh, I think it goes like this. Oh. Not too bad. And then I also got some custom Joy-Con buttons. <laughs> I'm so happy! I love the colors of the Joy-Cons and the screen is also a lot bigger than my light. Um, but yeah! Okay, let's play! So I have connected my Nintendo Switch to my iMac, which means that we are all ready to play! <laughs> oh, and if you can hear my fan, I apologize, but it is just so freaking hot here in New York, so yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> 
My clothes are so ugly. <laughs> For this round, I want my island to have double south outlet rivers, um, but I don't think that I like the option there. I think that the space on either side of the rivers is a bit too small. So I am going to restart again. Ah! Oh my god, I don't even have any options. <laughs> Okay, so here we have two options, um, but I think that the resident plaza center might be too close to the airport for my liking because I think this time around I want to have like a nice grand entrance from the airport, um, but I think these might be a bit too close. I'm looking for something that's farther away like this one um, because I did not know when I first started it the first time that you can't move your resident plaza area. It's like one of the few things that you can't change when you're terraforming. So that is why I'm being a bit more picky this time. Uh, so I guess we're going to restart. Hello, it is much later now. I was playing for a few hours trying to find my perfect map, but I was just not having any luck. So I gave up, took a break, and now we're going to continue. Praying to the AC gods, Ugh, please let me find a good map. Okay, so I think this one doesn't look too bad. It has both the double south rivers and the resident plaza doesn't look too close to the airport honestly i've been at this for hours so i'm just gonna choose this okay, it looks aligned uh, so for fruit i know that i can't be picky but i'm really hoping for either cherries or peaches but we shall see because um, my other friends have peaches but I mean I'll take peaches they're super cute Wait, who do I have? oh I think that's I think the penguin is Ooh. I know his name starts with an R and I don't know who the bunny is Oh my god, he's so 
cute with these little cute little waddles. <laughs> Forever in debt. <laughs> oh, I like completely forgot what I have to do on the first day. my villagers tents pretty sporadically around the island because last time I tried to perfectly align them all before I got terraforming and it did not go well and then I just had to end up like moving all of my villagers and it was like a pain to move them because some of their houses are in the way so I'm just gonna try to place them like all over the place until I figure out where I want my resident area to be yeah that's good enough <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so cute. I think she's supposed to be like a superhero or something. big iMac versus playing on like a small device. <laughs> 
I think I'm going to name my island Moonrise, Moonrise 2.0. Um, it was either between Moonrise after Moonrise Kingdom, one of my favorite movies, or Kafka, like Kafka on the Shore, which is like one of my favorite books. But I think I'll go with Moonrise. Ah, Moonrise 2.0. <laughs> yes. Nostalgic, I don't know why. <laughs> been so long I kind of forgot what I'm supposed to do on my first day. I'm pretty sure I have to get 5,000 miles to get my house. Um, okay. okay, am I supposed to go to sleep? Oh my god, there are fireflies! Yeah, it was like still spring when I last played, but now I guess it's technically summer. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. <laughs> Can I move this? Getting 5,000 enough miles is uh, faster than the 50k bell, so I'm gonna just do that. <laughs> uh, you can see how late it is now. <laughs> to go. <laughs> Where I need to catch bugs and fish for blathers. Okay, well, I guess we'll just start picking up some leaves. Okay. Oh my god, I can't even draw. Okay, I guess I'll just type. Uh, hello. Mm. Uh, this is so plain, but okay. How do I get 
fishing rod next. Do I go talk to them? First Balenci fishing rod. <laughs> oh my god, I'm like actually really sad that I had to restart my Critopedia. <sighs> ah! What the? Ah! God. Of course, that would be the first fish I catch. Turtle before. Oh my god, it's so big. Ah! Ah, oh my god! Ah! 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 I'm going to take the medicine. Yay. Maybe I'll put it here. I'm probably going to end up moving it anyways. Um, for now, the museum shall go here. Did I cut down the peach tree? No. Okay. Um, yeah. Yay. Oh my god, we're halfway there. Okay, so I think I'm just going to try to rack up the 5k nook miles and I shall be right back. So I'm back. It actually didn't take me that long to hit 5k. I mainly just did a bunch of fishing. Um, so now we are going to upgrade it to my house. Ready to pay! All right, so now that that is done, I think that I'm going to time travel to the next day so that I can start picking up my stuff from my friend's island. Yes, I know that time travel is like, I guess kind of controversial but I mean I didn't really time travel that much when I was originally playing the game but I do want to be able to catch up to where I used to be so I don't think that it's like exactly cheating um so yeah I think I'm just going to save and make it the next day <laughs> Oh my god, I forgot that Tom Nook does the announcements until um, we get Isabel. <laughs> okay, so my pockets are empty. Now let's go to my friend's island to pick up all my stuff. <laughs> Let me see if her gates are open. I think they should be. So techy. Oh no, my battery. <gasps> oh my god, her island looks so good. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, her star head. a bunch of DIY recipes, more furniture, and then, oh my god. <laughs> Look at all these recipes! And like, my fossils, oh my god. <laughs> oh my 
god. Okay. Well, time to get to work. So, as you can see, I basically filled up this entire beach with DIYs. And then, if you go to her other side, I filled that up too. Not today, she can. Oh my god. Yo, I filled up this entire beach with Nook Mile tickets. Apologies, my phone died, but yeah, basically I sold a Raymond on a site called Nookazon, which is basically like an Animal Crossing version of Amazon, and someone traded me 1200 Nook Mile tickets for him. So yeah, this is basically all of them. <laughs> I would say that I am set for life. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's giving me a giant ribbon. Oh my god, I got a costume. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god, I love it. Um, but yeah, so here's all my Nook Mile tickets and my money. And then I think I have more on her other beach, but I'm not sure how to get to it. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, more right here. Oh my god, guys. I am literally such a... <laughs> I am literally such a hoarder. I ended up taking way more than I was expecting. Um, but yeah, I did spend like 450 hours playing this game. And I really didn't want to lose all my progress, so luckily my lovely friends were able to help me out. So yeah, I guess I'm just going to spend the rest of the night um, just moving everything back. <laughs> Yo, Sufi's villagers, like, she got so lucky with all the ironwood recipes. Um, because I saw some comments asking how I got all the ironwood furniture. And it was all thanks to my lovely friends. I don't think any of my villagers made... Oh no, I think Marshall made the ironwood chair once. But that's about it. <laughs> Alright, so it's about 1.30 and I'm really not trying to mess up my sleeping schedule again. So I think I'm just going to call it a night. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys would want more Animal Crossing videos like when I go villager hunting or redecorating my island. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys in my next one.